Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, I'm on the move again, moving and grooving. Uh, trying to finish up some last minute things before my trip. And uh, got some errands to run, some bills to pay, all of that good stuff before I head on out tomorrow. Whew, I'm excited though, guys. It is getting close, getting close. It is go time. Yesterday was a busy, busy, busy day. Uh, I was down there uh, helping the Drifting Dreamers uh, with their cabin takedown thing. And I uh, had a good day with that. We got a lot done. Had the family over there hanging out and uh, helping out. And uh, so that's always a good time. When old Country Road Cure, Simple Life Reclaim, the Dreamers, and myself, we all get together to get a project happening. It went good, and uh, Lisa made some really, really good chili um, to eat for lunch. Tell you what, though, boy, that chili, boy, it'll set in your stomach, boy, it'll make you not want to be so motivated. <laughs> Afterwards, had to kind of fight through that a little bit. But we got a lot done. You know, it's just like any other project, a little bit of highs and lows, but uh, we made it happen. Look at this, guys. Let me flip y'all around, give y'all some views this morning on my trip. I'm actually headed to Fort Smith this morning. I had to go to the big city to get some things done here because a couple of the stores that I need to stop at, they don't really have in Russellville or Boonville or anywhere like that. about it for the views for yeah so I'm heading all the way over to Fort Smith and uh funny thing is, is I gotta head back over here in the morning to fly out but my flight's too early so I won't have time to get all of this stuff done so I have to take care of it today and uh I really wanted to help the drifted dreamers yesterday I really got about two days worth of stuff I need to get done but uh wanted to help them guys out yesterday so I'm gonna pack it all into today so it's gonna be a busy one and a late one for me today to say the least uh, I did edit a video last night there will be a video coming out on come on homestead today uh, it'll be going at noon so there's a real good chance that uh, it'll already be out before this video is out means that I'm on the move today so definitely go over there and check that out. Uh, it's a cool little video. Cool little video. I'm happy with it. It's not as long as my usual videos. I think this one's about 16 minutes, 17 minutes, something like that. But the way that the schedule worked out, I kind of needed to get this one out. Uh, I'll be editing some more um, tonight. And I'm going to try to go ahead and get something scheduled to come out on the weekend as well while I'm gone. Um, I got caught slipping yesterday, guys. Some of y'all <laughs> noticed or whatever. Um, so now that you know where, why am I going? That's the question for today. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even I didn't even catch it. I, I got caught slipping, guys. Y'all got me. Y'all got me. But uh, it's an exciting one, though. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, I'm ready to get it done and uh, get there and get situated and all of that stuff and then uh, and then get my butt back to the mountain uh, to start October because October is one busy, 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 busy month for me. There's going to be a lot of moving and grooving and shaking going on. It is so gorgeous today, guys. It's 82 degrees right now. It's almost 1030. Uh, I got up this morning a little bit, went and checked on uh, the food plot areas and stuff, which is doing really well, by the way. That video will probably be the video that comes out on the weekend. There's a whole lot more stuff that got added and done. So we're definitely good to go there. Uh, what else we got going on? Really just basically running errands, paying bills, and getting the mountain set up for me to be gone for a couple of days. 
I've already got all the animals situated. I got plenty of food for the goats, the rabbits, the dogs, the cats, everybody. And I uh, got some hay and all of that, so everybody is good to go. Um, that way, Mike don't have to really worry about much whenever I'm gone. Uh, I'm also working on an uh, edited video for this channel. Uh, that'll probably be coming out this weekend, more than likely. I uh, don't know 100% yet, but I'm going to give it a shot. And uh, that one's going to be a really, really cool video, guys. Y'all don't want to miss that one. Uh, it's a major upgrade to the mountain, in my opinion. A huge upgrade. Uh, I do got my camera with me today. I might film a couple of things that I do today because it is relevant to the mountain. Uh, I got a little bit more to do than just pay bills and uh, run errands. There's a couple of things that I want to pick up when I'm over here in the big town. Wow, there is two raccoons side by side that got hit on the side of the road. Wow. A whole bunch of stuff. There was like four different things dead on the side of the road. None of them was dogs and cats. They were all wildlife. It looked like a skunk or something else. I couldn't tell what it was. And then two raccoons. That's crazy. That's not a good crossing spot, apparently. Oh, just passed a big old Kubota. Old Kubota. Yeah, uh, the subscriber that I had dinner with the other night. He's looking at getting an Uber. So he was picking my brain about that a little bit. I'll flip y'all around, show y'all some views. We... In and out of them, in and out of them. So I'll just leave y'all that direction for a little while. Y'all see my mug all the time. I love these uh, country back road little drives. They clear my mind, especially when I got a million things going on like now. And uh, it allows me to just find my inner peace I guess but yeah uh, Domino's gonna be staying down there at the Drippin' Dreamers uh, with them I'm sure he'll be happy about that that he gets to play with the kids and get all that attention I don't know how happy he'll be with being bugged uh, by Odin and Halo uh, he don't really want nothing to do with them but uh, I'm sure he's going to miss me. Uh, when I get back, his tail will be wagging 900 miles per hour, I'm sure, like he does. Uh, I also talked to uh, White Rock Homestead the other day and uh, on the way home from that dinner. And those guys are doing great and killing it over there. Making some uh, big moves and uh, just they're excited about what they're doing and I'm excited for them. It's a... Uh, it's pretty cool uh, just to be able to meet new people that's in the community and uh, like-minded people and uh, just have somebody else to talk to and just go over things with and, you know, collab with and all of that other kind of stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. This community is growing and growing and growing. We was actually talking about that yesterday a little bit. Uh, before the kid community here was about the smallest uh, and I believe that the kid community has overtaken uh, the adult community at this point um, there's a whole bunch of kids and they're all really really good friends and love to play and stuff and that's just awesome that is just awesome I'm gonna leave y'all turn around till we get up over this next hill might be some views up here I don't know if we ran out of them or not they're on both sides of me but you can't really see because of the way the cameras and go hey there's a pink fence you know I bet that used to be red and the sun turned it pink let's see here oh we got one more hill around and around we go up through the hills through the snow uh, the trees are starting to change colors, some of them. It won't be long now. Once it starts, boy, it seems to happen fast. The leaves change and then fall pretty quickly. You only got a couple of weeks to enjoy it before all of a sudden you have no leaves on the trees. Alright, 
we got a corner coming up. Maybe that'll give us some better views, even though this ain't bad either. But all of the mountains on the side is where all the beauty beauty is. I see a lot of people getting all their Halloween decorations out and stuff. There we go. There we go. Now we got a little something for y'all to see. I wish the camera did it as much justice as what it looks like in real life. Now we're heading down. I think this is where it starts descending for a while, so you won't see all the all the hills and mountains. Yep, but nothing too major going on, guys. Just a whole lot of running around like a chicken without a head trying to uh, get all the last minute stuff done and then I uh, got to get packed up tonight I need to shave I need to shave I'm leaving the mountain got, got to leave the mountain man looking at the mountain so I need to go ahead and shave to get situated I want to clean I want to get the uh, tiny house nice and clean I also want to clean up a little bit in the cabin that way, whenever I come back from this trip, I'm coming back to a nice, clean environment. I don't like coming back to a mess and having to do stuff. Whenever I go out of town, I'm sure you guys are a lot like that as well. And then, because uh, I'm not going to get back until later in the night. Uh, so, I would like to just be able to kind of come in and go to sleep. So... I'm going to have Micah take me to the airport tomorrow. Uh, he offered, and uh, we're going to take the Jeep. We got the Jeep uh, ready to go. and Because uh, I love my nephew, but uh, I don't let too many people drive my truck. So we're going to be taking the Jeep. And also the Jeep's a lot better on gas, too. And uh, I'm flying out over here in Fort Smith, which is... a uh, first time for me there um, normally when I fly out I go to Little Rock over there but the prices wasn't much different and this is a lot closer so I wanted to give it a shot and uh, see how that works out so I will let y'all know but uh, probably tomorrow I will y'all will know more about why I'm going and what I'm doing and, and all of that other stuff it's going to be really really cool guys y'all are going to enjoy it I am sure but I think that's going to be about it for today. We're going to keep it pretty short today. That way I can focus on what I'm doing. I don't need to forget nothing while I'm way over here. But I love every single one of y'all. It is Friday Eve, guys. Y'all are closer to the weekend. Do something nice for somebody today. Take another small step closer to your goals, guys. Always keep moving forward. Uh, and as always, guys, always keep it real. Come on.